Hi. Uh, I almost panicked. Did, didn't find my coffee that I just got out of the microwave. You know how I like to have it hot. And it was behind my computer. So I grabbed it and <laughs> sloshed everywhere. <laughs> oh, no. oh, well, me, coffee and red wine, it goes everywhere. Oh, God. Especially up to the 10th glass. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. How are you? Ready to rock and roll? I'm doing good. Boy, this, the market is down with this coronavirus thing. Like, I know. 800. Oh, so this is going to be good. My son's phone at Apple the other day, and they were like, we're sorry. Your phone's in back order. I was like, oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. And, and so this is going to be, I'm just going to post it. Um, you know, right away, pretty much, because it's so timely. So anyway, are we going to do your YouTube live thing? We have to do something about this so people don't have to wear sunglasses when they get on. Yeah, just let me know when. I'm setting it up now. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. Pulling it up somewhere, wherever it's going to be. Have to... How are you? I'm really good. That's so rude. I didn't even ask you. I'm really, really good. I kind of like getting on the good diet again you know how you go on a bad diet for like two weeks you eat a bunch of shit and then you kind of like wow i feel like shit i wonder why and, yeah really you know <laughs> especially you mediums i mean you it seems like a lot of you guys are super sensitive to Percent. what you put in your body too much coffee <laughs> yeah so do you think that i should label this one in any unique way that's really since it's a little more since it's a little different, what we're talking it, about. What are we talking about? Are we talking about coronavirus today? No, we're just going to have the Q&A. Coronavirus is tomorrow, remember? Okay, cool. At 10, 10 o'clock tomorrow. I mean, that's why I had that blocked off on my schedule. I was wondering why I had that. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I know I'm doing this today or tomorrow. <laughs> hey, I'm old. I'm supposed to be doing that, okay? Not you. <laughs> I'm going to use Eric as an excuse because he's been all over me about this virus. Oh, there we go. Let me see, I'm clicking live. It says here and you know the drill and it says that and then we wait and it says we're live, but then we really aren't. Oh yeah. Now do I get on your uh, YouTube uh, channel then, I guess? Yeah, you can see that. Um, right. So I can look at the, um, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I better find and it. now we are live. All right. So. Okay, I'm gonna put. Well, you could. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Monday morning uh, Q and A. We missed last time because poor Pamela was stuck in Ireland, a beautiful place to be stuck in, I must say. Um, so anyway, I guess I will let you, uh, young lady, start off because I'm having to find the. I'm, I need to log into your log in. live so okay. I can help you with the questions. Okay. I'm waiting on questions, so oh. type in the chat until I can see them. There's one person here. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> so we have um, your, while we're waiting on questions, I can go ahead and let them know that we're having your hour of enlightenment tomorrow. Oh, yes, that's going to be fun. It's going to be nice because we have, what is it, Rod Butterer? Is that Rod, right? Rod, yeah, he's kind of a pro on EVPs and... um yeah it's just like eric i don't know what i love you eric by the way what is it that you can give so many clear evps like the one where you said idiots and then we found one yesterday somebody did where yeah. you where you burst out with mommy like that oh yeah. mommy loves you he said i was really excited when i did that like a kid running into the room like mommy <laughs> yeah oh that's so cute now okay i'm on your youtube page but how do i get to the questions just click on chat like go to the actual oh, well, uh, about okay home videos playlist community is it that no, look under the videos under the videos oh i just click on the video tab click on it pause it and then you'll see the chat kind of to the right or to on the bottom depending upon what kind of browser you're using okay um, yeah, but in the meantime, I will go ahead and, and answer their questions. No, I don't see any chat. You should. In the video itself, if you're in the Wait. video. Wait. Okay. What video do you want me to? Um, the, oh, live now. Oh, I see. So I, I click on the live now. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a little slow. How can I stop? Uh oh, wait a minute. 
grudges appears to be the first one from Jamie S. Okay, here we go. Y'all don't pay for top chat. We want this to be free, okay? Yeah, just so saying. Yes, we're just trying to, I mean, we don't get, YouTube only gives us like, they take 35% of it anyway. <laughs> well, oh, if you want to, actually, this is your channel. I, I shouldn't be uh, yeah. saying that. I mean, yeah, you can if you want, but I'm just telling you, like, if you want to donate to Elisa, do it privately, because otherwise, if you, you give a her or me um, a super chat, YouTube takes a ton of it. Like, we barely see anything of it anyway, you know? I know. Let us. It's okay. We're, we're here to help people. Yeah. So. Um, Hello, Jamie, Amanda. Okay. Let's see. Grudges, grudges. He really wanted to answer that one where someone was talking about how to stop holding grudges. And he came in and he, and he was playing around a little bit and he said, so I want to talk to you about some interesting things going on in spiritual communities all around the world in spiritual teachings. You know, people are trying to act like it's not hard to be on this earth. And you're listening to me today because I'm going to tell you that it actually can be hard. And you're here to be with me today because I'm going to tell you straight. It is fucking hard. Mm -hmm. so when spiritual teachers try to come around and like, you know, they're trying to tell you it's okay. It's okay. You know, just pretend that everything's okay and just put on a positive light because, you know, I, you know, let me paint your prison yellow for you. You know, <laughs> I know. He said, so, you know, unless you really are in prison and you can't get out, there's, there's no reason to pretend that it's okay when you don't feel that you're okay. So the reason why people hold grudges is because they're really not okay and they're trying to pretend that they are. So I would wow. like- Wow, that's profound. Yeah, and they, and they just shove it down, shove it down, shove it down. You know, paint your prison pink, baby. No, stop doing that. You know, grudges are being held because you are trying to pretend like you should be feeling something and opposite of what you actually feel. So can I just tell you, it feels so good when you just try to, you know, I can't tell you to give less fucks about this. You actually give fucks about this, a lot of them. I can't tell you like Pamela would often say in her yoga class, fly it away on a hot air balloon with a nice pretty visualization. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Yeah, I do that a lot. That's great. So he said, I can't tell you that. So what I am going to tell you is sit in it. You have to feel it. You have to, you have to give yourself permission to be pissed and just be with yourself. Stop trying to run from how you feel and grudges will then start to dissipate because you honored them. Right, right. All right, before we go on, I had two things that were kind of strange. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, somebody, okay, was saying that there's this, I, I, okay, I was doing some readings and somebody, I don't know, it's on Instagram, and someone named Eric came through telling me a message you, to message you about a Joe Swanson. Apparently, Joe desperately wants to talk to whoever Peter is. So I'm just putting it out there. You don't have to answer it, but um, so... If there's a Peter out there with a deceased rel relative named um, Joe Swanson, uh, mm -hmm. then you can connect to me somehow. Um, there was another one that, uh, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, another completely different person this morning was doing some readings and told to message you about something regarding a Yumu Kon. Paku, Y O U M U, and then K O N P A K U. She says she's looking for Yuyuko, Y U Y U K O, but is stuck between our world and the afterlife. So I'm just putting it out there, you guys. If, if you know somebody or if you are these people, then um, you can connect with me at emedhus at gmail.com. All right, proceed. Um, Yuyuko is not stuck. It's impossible. It's this thing where they make themselves feel that they're stuck because they want that experience. He's like, haven't you seen the movie oh, with Robin Williams? Yeah. She's totally stuck, but she thinks that she is in that scene where she's allegedly in <laughs> and he has to come get her. Yeah. So she's playing the role, but she's not really, and she doesn't know it yet. So uh, you think she be playing that role. So okay. all you need to do is just contact her and just say, okay, here's what's really going on. 
Here's your access to actual reality. It is not possible to be stuck. You're playing a role. Talk to her. Yeah. Talk to her. Tell her this. Connect to her. She's not okay. playing that role. All right. Awesome. All right. So let's see. We had somebody say, uh, just wondering if there are any, anything that I should know, like a message. And this is from Natasha, N-T-A-S-H-A. Oh, okay. <laughs> he says, you know how you think that you need something in order to live and you say to yourself all the time, I cannot live without this or that, without this person or that person, or <laughs> ideal situation or this feeling. So this person has this feeling of, um, uh, I need something or need someone. And he said, rest assured, that's an interesting delusion you know, not to cut you down on that feeling, but I will say that it is an interesting delusion to bring you deeper into your own need for yourself. So oh. when you want to allow for the fact that you feel that you need someone or something, that's not being needy. Don't let all the self-help community shoot you down and say, don't love anyone because you have to love yourself first. He's saying like that in that voice. Oh, he said, funny. he said if that's true, like Pamela says, you wouldn't be born with mothers. First things moms do is say they love you and calm your crying. So you need that. Mm. So you need it. It's okay that you need it. And simultaneously, when you do this, it teaches you how to love yourself in the way that you specifically want to, to be needed. So both teachings are true about this, about self-love. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'm going to ask three, and then you can ask three. Is that okay? I mean, yes. uh, okay, uh, good. I expanded it so I can see better. Uh, Manoj Singh uh, wants to know, wants to get a message from his father, whose name is uh, Parashuram Singh. Mm. Thank you, both Elisa and Pamela. Well, thank you, Manoj. Look at that spelling. Manoj, I like that name, Manoj. <laughs> Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. I don't know. But... Okay, Manoj. Um, Parashuram. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> he said, so culture is a weird thing in our side of the world, huh? You've done a great job with your family with balancing two distinct cultures that would, if you think about it, be ultimately opposing. Mm. And I just wanted to commend you on that balance. You're a great mediator. You're a great peacemaker with these families. Mm. And ultimately, after all, you've always wanted it to be one family, right? So it's headed in that direction. He did like this. Good job. Oh, that's so sweet. Now, I see the, the person, Jamie S., was who was talking about how can I stop holding grudges. But uh, can, I, I meant to ask this when y'all were talking about it. Can you give us an example a specific example of you know a grudge being denying ourselves what we truly feel eric he said so say you're holding a grudge against someone who hurt you yeah and <clears throat> despite the fact that they've they probably said they're sorry you know maybe you need to as well but not to them to yourself mm -hmm. there's a level of forgiveness in these situations say you need to forgive something you need to forgive yourself for not trusting yourself enough to get in that circumstance to begin with. That's a part of forgiveness that people don't think about. And that's why they hold grudges, not against the other people. It's about themselves. So how about you go back, not to that person. You've already said what you need to say to that person. You don't trust that they're not going to do the same freaking thing again. And they likely will. So that's the other thing about grudges and forgiveness. It doesn't mean that you need to roll yourself out like a carpet and let everyone step all over you and say, Oh, you know what? Because of forgiveness, you just going to do that shit again. <laughs> oh God. I know. This Been there, done boundaries. that. Right. Right. This is not what boundaries are about. And this is not what self love is about. you love yourself and you say, okay, I can love you. And because of creative preference, because of our power to separate, we choose to separate and there's nothing wrong with that. We're separating the circumstances in order to basically love ourselves enough. So number one, do that. And number two, go back in your situation and forgive the pain that you have towards yourself for being in that circumstance. Because there was an instinct that said to you, hey, 
Hey, don't tap on the shoulder, tap on the heart, yeah. right in the face. Don't trust that person. Don't trust that person. But you were trying to be the good person. You were saying, oh, no, no, stop judging that person. Stop it. Judgment's bad. Well, judgment's sometimes good. Yeah. It's, it's it, instincts that yeah, protect us from certain from things. 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 Yeah, I've been in that situation with a family member. And you know who I'm talking about, Eric. <laughs> um, okay, good. So let's see. Uh, the next one is... Uh, Elisa R. Spell the same name as me. Any messages for me? Thank you. He said, you are just on it. You are just vigilant with what you want right now. He said, look, mom, I got some big words today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. He said, so you be vigilant for everything that she's seeking and she feels it in this manifestation. Something that she wants is, is palpable. It's right on her fingertips. It's right here. She can almost taste it. And she's simultaneously, simultaneously scared of it. So what happens when you really want to manifest something and it's right there on your fingertips to the point where you can almost feel it and you're simultaneously scared? You're scared because you might not get it. Maybe, you're I don't know. Because you will get it. Oh, <laughs> what's going to happen? Retrain your mind to not know the future and be okay with uncertainty and what it feels like when you're actually successful and happy. Yeah, and uncertainty breeds op opportunities. So don't look at me. I'm not scared. <laughs> uh oh. Don't be judging, Eric. <laughs> She's going to turn you over her knee. <laughs> Um, okay, good. Let's see. Uh, any advice from my guides? And this is coming from um, Jen S. Hmm. Don't let me pull out a pen. Come on. Uh, well, you are on her. Like white on rice, dude. He said, uh, okay, so you started something. You can't stop it now. When you get started on something that you want to do, you made a firm decision and you tell yourself, well, but I, I want to change my mind. Okay. What? So what if you want to change your mind? Does, does God get the chance to change your mind? I mean, so what if God wants to change your mind? What's so bad about changing your mind? So yeah. what if you invested? So what if you're worried about losing something? What is this? What is this when people make a decision that's maybe not in their best interest, but then they're like, no, 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 no. I gave my word. No, 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 no. I said I would do Okay, you have the right to change your mind. Yeah, just listen to your intuition. Does yeah. that changing of mind feel icky or good? So this is what she's really scared of. He says, she's scared that the end is going to be uncertain. This is the theme today, uncertainty. It is. Scared that the end is going to be uncertain. But the end is going to look somewhat similar no matter what, which is that you get to trust yourself and feel better. That's the end circumstances no matter what oh, happens. Oh, good. So like this that. is the goal here, and you already have it once you give it to yourself now. Now, give yourself permission to change your mind. That's where your peace lies when you keep saying, I just want peace about this decision. I like that. Awesome. All right, so we have uh, page, page and Google, or Goggle, sorry. Um, could you please ask Eric for me what kind of healing uh, I should do? Maybe some bioenergy work? Interesting. I don't even know what that is. Sounds cool, though. Mm. He said, what about a new form of tapping for you? Mm. Tapping has, is incredible, and you're working with the body <clears throat> to tame the mind, to tell the mind, to help the spirit. So people may think that's backwards, but it's actually not. Tapping is incredible. It is. It, it, and you can do it on yourself, too. It's amazing. So what do you mean a new form of tapping, Eric? Um, is, is he going to create some new type of tapping or what? He's already out there. He, she's oh, okay. spiritual response type of technique. So he's, he said, uh, he gave me an acronym, SRT. SRT. Okay, go look it up and see what that is. I think I'll write that down with my trusty little whiteboard and red thing. SRT. Uh -oh. oh, well, I got mine. White knuckle grip. Um, all right, now, uh, let's see, Amanda Martin wants to know if there are any messages for her. Okay, so surrender doesn't have to be a bad thing, Manda. He said, Manda Panda, can I call you that? It's so cute. Oh, like Manda Panda. He said, I like pandas. You're cute like a panda and powerful like one, too. He's like, man, those fuckers can bite. He started laughing. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Amanda, Amanda, I hope you keep up with your rabies shots. He said, so I want you to stop biting and start surrendering, you know? So I want you to understand that surrender doesn't have to be this scary concept. Like Americans, he said, if you Americans think about surrender, like holding up your white flag, oh no, shit just went down. You're not dying. Your ego isn't dead. You're a powerful being. You're not having to settle for less because you need to surrender and trust the universe in your life right now. You're, you're not in the position of servant. No one is telling you you're lesser than. Those things that your mind is telling you right now, it's not true. So I need you to surrender to yourself. Mm -hmm. Surrender to trusting how the universe works at a you, particularly in your body and with finances right now. Two things, two areas of your life that you need to surrender and trust that this is working the way that it should be. Awesome. All right, Marina Wong, very important oh my question. Said that's her nickname. She just said that. He said, oh my God. <laughs> Marina Wong, what are we supposed to learn from this coronavirus pandemic and how do we raise our frequency in the middle of all this? Now, this is interesting because guess what? We're going to have a session tomorrow morning and I will put that YouTube out as soon as possible. Like I do Monday, Wednesday. Um, Friday, so I'll probably put it out on Wednesday. He says, so I'm going to give you the long spiel on that, and it's not going to be what you think, guys, okay? It's not getting more scared, all right? America's doing a fine job of really keeping this under control, okay? But other countries, not so much, and they're going oh, no. through a unique breakdown of their cultural systems that aren't working for them, which means what for us? It means that we need to be in our own mindset together, coming together more as a country. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's good. It's really touchy because uh, Europe, you know, the Euro, they, they don't really have borders anymore. So it's they're in a very difficult and dangerous situation. I say that Trump did a good job by sealing us off right away. So he's probably saved a lot of lives. Yeah. However you think about him, he probably saved a lot of lives by doing that. So Eric said people didn't understand Trump's power in that situation that we had to make him play the bad guy in order to protect us for things that we didn't understand. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. He can handle it. And anyway, we'll, we'll get that out as soon as possible with a whole bunch of questions people have sent me. There's a lot um, you want to talk about tomorrow with that. A lot. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Alexander, oh, hit the notification bell on her channel and my channel, so you won't miss anything like this. <clears throat> um, Alexander K., my uh, uncle Gus C. died in the early uh, 90s. Does he have a message for me? Mm -hmm. Why are you resisting change all the time? You used to be the person that would change at the drop of the hat, and we were always telling you to calm down. Now you need to change, and you're like sticking your feet in the mud. There's something you need to do with your house. There's something you need to do with and he's, he's pointing like this, so that could be a child or a grandchild. It's, it's a little one um, on the father's side of the family. Um, he said, so when you're thinking about being resistant to things all the time, rest assured, uh, you, you really need to look into that. Change is constant. My goodness, even on my side of the world, change are constant. He means like on his side of the veil. Yeah. Over here, change is constant too. We're learning all the time too. It's okay. I, I, hey, by the way, I'm not asking you to trust that person that you're thinking about asking me a question about. I'm not asking you that. Um, I'm telling you that change is constant in your life and you need to embrace it right now. There's something coming up with your living circumstances and there's something coming up with a younger family member and it's okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. Uh, Helene, Kristen, Remy, me. I'm bad about those funky O's in Norwegian or Danish or whatever. Uh, she wants to know if she'll become a foster mom for one or two kids. Now, I don't know if that's, will I become a foster mom for one or two kids or will I become a foster mom for one or two kids? So I'm sure you know, Eric. Eric said, okay, so this is a unique situation. Okay. Because in her heart, she wants to, and there's gonna be a specific reason why she wants to. And there's gonna be a seemingly perfect situation that comes across and it's going to be hard because in this situation, you only get one out of two that come together. So that's a big, big thing for you to learn. However, it comes around that later you end up getting that other one that you want that's connected to the first one. So they could be siblings. They could be, maybe they were raised together, but they're not siblings, but they were raised in a home together. There's something like that that he's sharing 
and it's going to be painful to go through when you think you're only going to get one and he needs you to trust. He said, I just need you to trust this scenario. Okay, go ahead. I, I said I was going to ask three questions and that I didn't let you take over, but sorry about that. Go for it, Pamela. No, it's okay. You can ask all the questions you want. <laughs> well, uh, now for so, some reason, I just does the whole thing change here. Okay, go ahead. I'm looking for my starting point. Does my son Chris have a message for me? I'm just seeing whatever I see that comes up that he Okay. Talks. Um, okay, he said, Mom, you got this thing that you always say. Um, you got a saying, and you always say it is what it is. Can you please stop saying that? Who, me? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, some other person. Okay, got it, got it, got it. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, he's like, no, my mom will go and do everything that it is. Point blank, dot by dot. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but but Tracy, um, he said for for Tracy, your mom, you, you, your son is saying you have this thing that you say it is what it is. Please stop saying that. Um, it's not the beginning of some deep spiritual wisdom. It's the beginning of denigrating yourself and completely telling yourself you shouldn't feel what you feel. I need you to stop saying that. It doesn't feel good for you. And yeah. oh, nice. That's nice. Yeah. All right, the bad guy, Tony Tone. I like that. Good morning and hello, Eric. I'm desperate. I need to know when and if my recently transitioned boyfriend, Tony, is around me. But I don't have her name or his name. Well, I don't know. Um, okay, let me just ask him anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All I have is his handle, uh, mm -hmm. YouTube handle. Okay, so... Eric's coming through, but I don't have Tony yet. So if you give me your name, maybe we can do this at some point this time or next time. But Eric, okay. you know, grief is an opportunity to broaden your capacity to love someone in mm. new and unique ways. So grief is an interesting thing. It's love with no place to go. Oh, so wow. give it a place to go. Yeah, it's the price we pay for love. Yeah, it's tough, and, and we, we learned that, but then we broadened the love we have for that person, and we put it somewhere, like into helping other people, or into animals, or into, like, ourselves. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I love that. <clears throat> okay, uh, Meg Coulterman would love any messages from my dad, Tom Wimber. She's... <laughs> Tom said she's going to ask, is it possible for her to change the vibration of her cells enough to heal something physically? And my answer is yes. He's like, so certain things in our bloodline, you're not, we don't, we don't have to carry those things down. We don't have to think about that. Like our dad had it, our mom had it, therefore we're having symptoms of it, therefore we're going to have it. Yeah, that All could be just spiritual DNA, huh? Yeah, it can be. And simultaneously, we can shift it even if it is by changing the vibrational frequency of ourselves. So it is possible to change your consciousness in this way, and your body will emerge differently in its response to an illness. So he wants you to really dig deeper into um, vibrational medicine right now. Good. Good. And Kim Voigt, uh, and I'll write her information, uh, she did cut my spirit some bad spiritual dna i had i think she uh, you know regressed me to the akashic records area and it's like it, it was really cool really cool so she can help you guys cut your spiritual and maybe you can too pamela do mm -hmm. you do that do that too and she does it and what it is is this, that person has to have a certain energy to get you to trust them enough to get your higher self to give your body permission and to give your genes yeah okay a natural point of trust with people who can get in there enough, you know, with that unique gift. And she's good at it. He likes her. Oh, it won't let me put it. Anyway, it's embody-light.com. They won't let me put it in a, a thing. But, but anyway, Pamela too, you, you know, you guys contact uh, uh, her as well for that. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Let's see. Uh, Sin 19, CYN 1982. Does Eric have a message for me? So, oh, I, I skipped one. Sorry, but go ahead. Amy, I'll get to you. Your mind, you're correcting your mind all the time. 
and you're correcting all these thoughts, but the thoughts want to be there to get you to feel something. And it's okay to program your mind differently. Okay. It's okay to program your mind differently. He's saying to this person and you have to, again, people, this is the message for today. You've got to see and feel and be present with yourself before you can do that. You know, does that mean you're going to give it too much present? You, you know, the ego is scared. It's going to cry and go into a psychological meltdown, not be able to hold down jobs, not be able to hold down relationships. None of that's true either. And that's what you're really afraid of when you're afraid of yourselves in this way. But I need you to be present for yourself first. That's his message. That you can't program your reprogram your mind without being present for yourself. Oh, yeah. Uh, these Q&As are so great because I learned so much. And I hope all you guys also learn from the messages that even though they're given to somebody else that we can uh, learn something from and adopt. So Amy Davis, sorry, I skipped you. Hi, so glad to see you both. My, uh, I mean, what message does Josie Baker have for her son, Lance? Music, 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 play more music for that person. Um, so he can't go backward in his progress. Sometimes it looks that way. She's showing me an image of uh, a ladder and, you know, three steps forward. Oh, some yeah. Great right until you have to go two steps back and sit still on that second rung for a while. Um, but then you're going to go four more steps forward after that, and then perhaps three steps back, and then five more steps forward, and then perhaps four steps. So you're making progress, but you're not seeing it because as a family, the two of you have really had to brace yourselves for something right now. There's something going on, you know, where you can only progress a little bit at a time with him. So I need you to give yourself more credit for your work with him. Okay. It looks like it's not progressing, but it really is. Awesome. You don't know what's under the surface, you know? Remember the ladder analogy. All right. Good. Wizard of Chalk. Hi. My name is Vicki. Any messages from my mom, Lorraine? Tulips, tulips, tulips. So I'm getting like red and purple tulips. I don't know why. That's the message. It could just be confirmation. Um, but the red and the purple and the flowers, especially tulips. So there's this thing also she started with that and she said you know when you get into that place in your head where you feel like you're kind of going into a silent place where you don't want to talk to people can you give yourself permission to be in that quiet place more um you don't have to do all these things that you used to do you're learning to find yourself and you're learning to kind of do a meet and greet with yourself and to sit in the depth of that silence and in the depth of that silence, kind of this, this thing happens where our minds and our hearts, you know, our thinking and our emotions merge as one. And in that moment, you get deep discernment about what you're asking me with two certain people in your life right now. You will get that discernment, so, but please give yourself time um, to, to, to get there. She's trying to make decisions right now about two specific people. And she has put it out there to spirit that maybe L Lorraine help her with that. So that's, but she needs to be still. Oh, okay. Easier said than done. <clears throat> Got one from Lala or Layla. I'm not sure. I think it's Lala. In a chairing with uh, uh, Kim, I don't know which Kim, uh, Eric mentioned the letter K in relationship to vaccines. I don't remember that at all, but you know, it's me, okay? Can Eric say if we need to examine the role of vitamin K2 as an Im uh, immunomodulator and its impact on vaccines? Well, that in correlation with amounts of vitamin C. <laughs> okay, so you have to do both. Yeah. Or they won't work as well. Yeah. It's syn synergistic? Yeah, it's very synergistic. It okay, good. Great around. Good. Um, Julie D, what does my higher self want to tell me? I want to give you a mantra, your higher self says. <laughs> a what? Her higher self came through and says, I want to give you like a, a affirmation or, or something to say. She likes this kind of thing, like a mantra or affirmation or something to say. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Um, so it is, I choose to be the truth that allows liberation to be extended to the whole world. Wow. Say that again. 
I choose to be the truth that allows liberation to be extended to the whole world. Wow. She to be free. But she keeps saying to herself, I, I just want freedom. I just want to feel free. I just want to feel free. The higher self says you have to see that freedom in the world more in order to realize where it is. Going. So start right. the world and sending blessings of freedom to the world more. That's pretty cool. Okay, tinfoil hatter. Uh, please find Jeff Buckley from the 90s. I don't know. Is that somebody? Think? I'm, I'm not sure. There's a lot of Jeff Buckleys out there. Tinfoil hatter. We don't know your name, so it's, it's hard to say. I'm like, there's a lot of. I think I'm thinking of the song like Hallelujah right now. And I know he's alive, so. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Isn't he? I don't know. Is he alive? He should be. Do you need the tinfoil hatter to give his or her more name? More information. Yeah. Yeah, more information, right. Okay, well, uh, please do that. And Morgan Murchison, I was wondering if Eric could speak on uh, any ways we could help those in our lives who are overwhelmed and focusing on the negativity in the world. Well, first of all, be aware of your thoughts, man. They've got power. The more you focus on the negative, the more you make negativity. And also you open yourself up to have these negative entities attached to you, you know, too. So where it comes from Eric said. Yeah. 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 So yeah, what what can these people do to protect themselves from that and also to reprogram their thoughts? First of all, what's the worst that can happen? to us we're eternal beings okay people go ahead for sure <laughs> he said they create more and more and more and the thing is you're all powerful and then you're creating that together then you get on social media and you create a bunch of fear. oh god yeah <laughs> oh. so honestly in reality you remain as you're created to be a sacred powerful god whatever god is whatever you want to call yourselves yeah. so that's the reality, but you get scared and you're choosing to focus on that fierce why. Look at the deeper reason why you do this. Why did you yeah. do this? Yeah, okay? why? They do it because they feel out of control in their lives. They're seeking one little thing to control and everything else is falling apart. So they're like, well, maybe I can make a difference here. Yeah. So you need to get them back to what's important, which is the simple you know, so there's a little SSS thing that I teach in my mystery school that Eric loves when I do it. And I was inspired by him to put it in my mystery school. So it's SSS is the acronym. So we keep things simple and safe and sacred. So when you're asking yourself what you're focusing on, is it simple? No, shit gets complicated, probably a fear. You know, <laughs> is it safe emotionally or physically or financially? No, probably fears in the bottom of that. You know, simple, safe, and sacred. Is it sacred? Is it really sacred for us right now, particularly coming into the primaries and so many things? Like, is it really yeah. sacred for us to be like focusing on so much and fighting with each other and going through all this stuff when we need to look at the basics and the facts? He said, so bring her to the facts of her fears because basically it's not factual. What she's afraid of to begin with is just fear. Yeah. yeah. Look at the facts. Simple, sacred, safe. Yeah, and uncertainty, people, that generates a lot of yeah, unnecessary. We can bring her back yeah. to what she might feel in control. Maybe there's some. Yeah, yeah so, so, you know, what, whatever it is you fear, so sometimes you can say, you know, got to change and live with love, not through fear, and remember that we're all a co collective, live as one, blah, 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 blah. And anyway, but you can actually maybe do something, like if you're afraid about the coronavirus go and volunteer for the red cross or i don't know i mean what he said he said or put your money where your mouth at the picture talk where your actions yeah, are yeah 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 then, then all of a sudden you have some sort of control you're doing something and you can gather people around to create foundations to do things about what you're afraid of yeah so you're gonna feel better because then the focus is positive <laughs> that's awesome all right waslim any messages from me eric can you see outside of you right now he asked, can you see outside of your own pain? Can you see, for instance, this is how gratitude works. I want you, when you're afraid of everything that's going on in your life, which is a lot right now, I want you to look at one thing that you're grateful for, even if it's tiny. Like, you know, I like the way the heat feels in my house right now. Amazon Prime. Okay. <laughs> I'd say I'm kidding, but I'm not. All right. I'm grateful for that. He said, she's not kidding, actually. There's something. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> mm. 
so you see outside of you, you can see that the reflection, when you see outside of you, 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 that reflection that you're allowing within yourself, you're allowing something to live within you that's either good or bad right now. But when you start to look outside for what you're grateful for, then that's going to take seed in here. That's going to plant, take plant in here. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, Kemia Morris, can you tell me how my family is doing on the other side? I lost my mom, Dorothy, grandmother, Julie, husband, Kurt, brothers-in-laws, too many to mention. Oh gosh, that's, some people do choose to live in a life full of loss. So anyway, does Eric have anything he can help me with? Tell him, I mean, how, of course they're doing fine. Everybody on that side is partying. But uh, Eric, what can you say to Cameo to make? So they all, they all had something in common. He said all these family members, except one, the most recent one that passed, had something in common. That common was religion. They shared a deep love, probably for Jesus. There was a deep religion. And he said, well, there's nothing wrong for that. They have broken down the confines of that specific religion immediately on this other side in a way that they understand that what is a savior? A savior is something that shows up when you evoke within you your deepest fears, your deepest loves, your deepest reactions and responses to your environment, whether it be like in their case, um, some of them had deep love for each other and some of them had pronounced judgment. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're bringing about pronounced judgment and deep love and all these things, um, you come through and you're seeing that and that's invoking your deepest response within yourself. And they did all that and they broke through all these family barriers. And then they realized that they were saving themselves the whole time. Wow, that's cool. Anyway, go watch the Jesus interview uh, that I did a long time ago because you will hear him actually make an EVP. You'll hear Jesus' voice. Plus, you'll find out that he actually did not die on the cross. So mm -hmm. there goes that whole paradigm. The whole paradigm. Um, anyway, the now historians are realizing that, that they have evidence that that's true. All right, now let's see. Um, Eric said it was on Time Magazine last year, Mom. It was? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't take time. I don't. He said, but it's theirs. I just looking. Oh, wow. I did not know that. All right. Yes. Cool. Linda Marie, Eric has been popping up a lot for me lately. Is he doing this? And I guess I would ask why, too. So I do this a lot when people are really being, un having uncomfortable. I, you call it a lot of things, guys. You call it Kundalini. You call it awakening. You, you call it what it is, but it doesn't feel good to be a channel doesn't feel good to go into mediumship. So I'm here to just kind of help you understand that it's okay when it doesn't feel good, what to do when it doesn't feel good, um, some different kind of techniques to feel better about your experience as an awakening channel. Well, why does it not feel good? What do you mean? Because think about it like this. He said, I'm going to give you the example in a car, mom. So you, you got a Bugatti, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I right. No, I don't. So, or you got something like that. You got a Mustang, rather. Let's talk about that. And you got to, okay. you know, put a Chevy engine in there. You know, and dad's going to argue that it would be a Ford. But either way, you're going to put a Chevy engine in there. <laughs> and we're not going to do that to the Bugatti or the Mustang, right? Right. So what if it's the opposite way around? What if the body is the this, this real beat up looking car and then you go put the Bugatti engine or the Mustang engine in this real beat up looking car and the body's just trying to keep up. It's like going down the road like a little- Oh, I see. Shaking and shaking, you hit 70 and it's shaking and shaking and then you know you reach that point between 60 and 70 miles per hour that it kind of, you know, with these old cars, they kind of toned down a little bit, right? Right. You know, that would understand this a little bit more than I do, but I can tell you that there was a point when I had to lay off the gas on the motorcycle, and it wasn't a point that I enjoyed, by the way, but I had to. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, blow out the gears. So you're blowing out yeah. your gears, and you need to kind of calm and give the body of the car or the motorcycle time to keep up with the spirit, which is, you know, the driver. Well, is Eric trying to tell her, because he works with a lot of mediums or mediums to be, Telling her to advance her skills, to, to work said, on her skills. No, 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 I'm telling you to calm down. No, I'm, but uh, okay, 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 but. Yeah, you can, need to like, eat better, drink less coffee, eat better, take meditate a little bit more, kind of calm the body down a little bit, because then it'll calm the mind down a little bit, and then the skills are already there, and you will trust them more, for one, and then okay. 
um, it, they won't make the body be so shaky and ungrounded. Yeah. So, but what course of yours would you recommend, Pamela? Oh gosh, um, transcend transcend disease, transform your life. That whole series. okay, awesome. That. Okay, uh, that's awesome. And you know, I want to do a radio show with you as a guest, where you describe all the things you because I am learning so much that you have a lot to offer. So we should do that in the future. So. Your people call my people. I don't have any people. <laughs> okay. I don't got no people. Um, <laughs> well, you're looking at the people. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chessie C. Uh, hi, my name is Chessie. Is there a message for me from Eric and Pam? So you want love in your life. And you're scared of it. And you're sending out fear and doubt. And you got a lot of shame and guilt about yourself. So you want love in your life, but you don't want people to see you. What's up with that, newly awakened channels? Like you want to be loved, but you don't want to be seen as love. Oh. And you're like, oh, no, no, not me. I'm too humble. It's okay. Gosh. <laughs> so I, I really need you to step out a little bit more into yourself and to be seen for the loving being that you are and receive a compliment for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I know. It's hard. It is hard. But me, little me, shucks. I know. I, I always have struggled with that too. All right, good. Kathy Dolls, D O L S. I don't know. I'm sorry, all you guys, if I'm messing up your names. I don't mean to. Any messages for me today? From Kathy. Mm -hmm. He's gonna let me do my pen on this all one. All right, good. Um. So, what if in making choices? You're the one that gets to choose the effect of everything you experience. So what if manifestation is cause and the effect and you are the cause, not the effect. So understand that you alone in that circumstance can then interpret all relationships that you're afraid of as neutral circumstances and as opportunities for that neutrality so that you can be in a peaceful state of manifestation. And when I say peaceful state of manifestation, you guys manifest like nobody's business and you're like, oh shit, look at that. <laughs> Pointing at me, I do that all the time. I'm like, I wonder if I can da 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 and boom, there it is. <laughs> right? Wow. I'm like, what? <laughs> so um, with her, he said, I need you to be neutral about relationships around you because you are the cause of them. So I need you to look at them more neutrally. I need you to look at the value that you're replacing upon your relationships. Look at your value systems. Look at where you place significance and importance in things. You know, it's something that with things and thoughts and belief systems, they come from values. And in your values, you can be more of a liberal uh, creator of your moment to moment experience. Like, I don't mean like, day to day i mean hour to hour i mean minute to minute sometimes with you yeah oh wow okay <laughs> uh alex youtube does my grandfather big john i love that on my dad's side have a message for me or my grandmother jane on my mother's side thank you i guess we could pick one what what, what which one has the most important message eric what were the names again a uh, big john or grandmother jane grandfather big john grandmother jane well, it's really funny um, because Eric's showing me like Big John. He actually is Big John, but he doesn't have a big personality. Like there's like big body, like soft, soft, gentle. Oh, okay. Cool. Like funny, funny, quirky, but but gentle. And he's being quiet. And then the other one that you mentioned is coming forth as a little body and powerful personality. Like, no, it's me. You know? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> so she said, you know what? I, I want... Two of you right now, the person who's asking and the, the man around that person to look at someone and forgive that person. Even if you think that something bad's going to happen again in our family because of that person, I need you to look at that in every moment in a different way by understanding that person's suffering. I understood that per his suffering. And you guys thought that I would defend him or take up for him or whatever. He has some issues, particularly with addiction, but I understood his suffering. Therefore, it was easy for me to forgive it. You know, did I handle it the wrong way? Probably. Did I take up for him too much? Probably. But you know what? Um, 
it, it kept me out of pain about the situation. Oh. I'm not asking you to do what I did, but I'm asking you to just understand your suffering more, okay? Wow. That's it make cool. you feel better, guys. Yeah. All right, Ms. Limitless. Love that moniker. Uh, blessings to the both of you. Blessings back. Does Eric have any messages to guide me through the rest of February and into March? What's that person's name again? Ms. Limitless. Do, do, you, do you want them to if, get, give a first name and maybe a last uh, initial uh, in future? First names are just so helpful as, you know, um, it just, I don't really need more than that, but. Okay. Um, so he does say, you know, it, this is a general message. He said, so it's, you need to understand the power of and the energy of grace in your life. People don't understand grace, Eric says. It's a kind yeah. of a big, <laughs> and people don't understand the power of what happens when they choose to view situations that would re really hurt them as innocent. That's grace. And I need her to pay attention in February and March to that innocence, that innocent energy of all things of grace. Interesting. All right. Uh, from Sheldon Stifle, what are the best ways to heal our bodies? Oh, gosh. Well, I actually have a YouTube on healing. So uh, all sorts of ways to heal. So you might want to check the, the YouTube channel and, uh, and also Pamela may, may have the same thing, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I, you know, what you're really seeking to understand, guys, is suffering and why you're suffering and why you have pain to begin with. So he said, I need you to really understand what you're asking, like um, how to view your body as whole. It's really hard to do that when you're in pain. Yeah. I need you to understand wholeness a little bit more in order to choose a modality because there's so many different modalities and based upon what you're experiencing, you may choose various modalities. So there's no best way because you're infinite creators. You're just infinite, powerful creators. Right. And then also the whatever pain, whatever d disease, condition, et cetera, it's your soul trying to tell you something like diabetes. Some people say in, in many cases, it's the inability to digest the joy in life, or the sweetness of life rather. <laughs> And so, yeah, so really, like if, like, if you have a sore throat, that sore throat is telling you a story about, and it could even be a past life story, like a, in a, by a sword in the medieval times, I don't know. I'm going down a rabbit hole again. Yay! Yay! Let's get the e-ticket e for Disneyland. Go ahead. He said, so it's about value systems. So when you look at that, again, when it, value systems can actually keep you healthy and whole or do the opposite and make you suffer. So what if when you start to claim nothing in value systems, you just drop all value systems and you say, okay, I'm gonna kind of just sit with myself and feel who I am for a moment and let all things flow through me innocently, all thoughts and just view them as innocent and just be present with them and just then ask my body where, what the suffering is about. Drop your yeah. value systems first and then ask your body, hey, what's the, what is this? What is this about? What is this? You know? Okay, awesome. I like that. Uh, I'm just going to ask a personal question. This other one reminded me. Uh, do you have any message for me that will help me get through the rest of February and uh, into uh, March or throughout March, Eric? But also, I want to tell you guys, and Pamela, you need to know this too, that the documentary um, filmmaker, Paola Marino, she was going to come in March, but she's pushed that to April, maybe May, um, because she is kind of adding cinematic elements to the story, like animation, not like cartoon stuff, mm -hmm. to reenact some of the scenes that, you know, where we need Eric's, you know, Eric's not here, so, you know, physically to, so anyway, she's changed some stuff up and she's gonna come back. Uh, but anyway, message. Awesome. Um, okay, so, is it Pamela, you forgot about this message. You were supposed to tell her this like three weeks ago. So three weeks ago, I had a dream, and um, he said for me to tell you to pay attention to Mikowski or Mikowski. Like I could just, I remember that pronunciation of something, that okay. the situation with that name or person or that's going to, that you need to remember because it's really vital in making a big decision. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, you Mikowski. and dad, he's like, you guys are going to have to make a big decision um about but i don't know anybody yet that's coming I'm you will you will because it's about an investment that's been on the table for a while in your family so okay it's, yeah interesting it's really personal and he doesn't want me to say much but you will oh no oh yeah that's fine that's fine okay 
Um, he might know. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Tiffany Flock. Hello, loves. I love that. Thank you for your work. I wonder if Eric has a message for me. Tiffany? Okay. Tiffany Flock. So now, 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 now. He said everything's about the now for Tiffany, and you've been really embracing it so powerfully and exceptionally. So yay you, he said, and he was like shaking some like pom-poms or something around you. Aww. And pretending he had on a cheerleader skirt and showing his hairy legs. And oh. <laughs> it was a great answer. Um, he said, Oh, he's shown worse before. Let me tell you. <laughs> Poor Jamie Butler. <laughs> she's she'll never, she'll never be like, right. <laughs> so he said, in this moment, I'm going to tell you something, this now, what if since you're working with the now anyway, you can start to play around the now is magic. And it's just this magical place that, you know, Pamela calls wonder. You can call it what you will. I don't give a fuck, but get in this moment and try to remember that you are the person who both seeks something in your life and finds it simultaneously. So everything that you're seeking and looking for, you already have inside of yourself. So when you find it, that's why you feel so good. That's why you celebrate. So I want you to pay attention to the certain emotion and energy of celebration in your life. That's your manifesting key. When you focus on celebration, that's like the guy does it, the cheerleading pom-poms. Then that's you awesome. know what you want in manifestation in your life. Because people like to focus in on certain energies when they manifest, he says. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, Lisa Folly. Hello, Eric. I'm looking to connect with my nephew, Patrick. Thank you. Lisa. It's not what you think. I didn't suffer how you thought, but I did when I was alive, but not in my passing. And I know that's been a mystery that you've been thinking about for a while. Never, ever believe that, that I suffered the way that you think that I did. I just want you to back that up. Um, I want you to know that your thoughts about this need to change because that's what's causing your pain about this. And it's about what's causing your pain over and you just like this. And normally that's uh, parents or grandparents or someone older than him. So okay. it's, and Eric says, okay, so I'm going to take this opportunity. Events of people's passing, those events are neutral. It's hard for us to see it when we're in pain over it. It's our thoughts about them that yeah. teach how to grieve effectively. Okay. Um, all right. The other, uh, this next person, Ash341, uh, didn't, wants to hear from a grandma who died, and but uh, they didn't leave the name, so, and the person, the uh, Shatter's name. Uh, and then IM says, 55 people forgot to like. All right, come on, press, smash that like button for Pamela. Um, all right, day one, any messages for me today from source? Again, y'all, next time, try to leave your first name. It just helps her connect a lot. You give it. Um, he said, you know, you've been doing this thing about honoring projections and understanding when people are projecting onto you and they're projecting their thoughts or projecting their opinions or projecting this, projecting that. But if they're you, isn't there something in there that even if it's really catalyzing you, even if it's really pissing you off, you know, it's really going to trigger you. Um, what if that's for reason all you, you don't just go through what people call karma and then it's oh, gone. You're like this. <laughs> that's not what happens. It's a spinning wheel and it's a cog that reaches another spinning wheel. So this wheel's going this way. This wheel's going that way. And sometimes when you think something's hard, it kind of catches in the middle and rubs like a stick in between two gears. So the only reason why that's happening for you is because you're not looking at that projection as a means of honoring yourself and as a means of standing up. And you, for, this is happening for you to put a boundary with that person, for you yes. to say, I honor myself. But, but then you don't do that. <laughs> and then what, what, what you do instead is you'll say, oh, why is this karma doing this to me? You know, why is this karma coming back around again? I must have not learned something. And then you feel bad. So spirituality, it, it, it can be this, this is when spiritual paradigm can be really hard and some of the conditions that follow religion go straight into new age. Yeah. That's <laughs> funny. Boy, you got a lot of people busted today. <laughs> All right. Uh, Helena, um, Elena or Helena Erickson. Hi, Pamela. Any messages from my husband, Robin, that passed away 12 years ago? And is he staying around me? 
Yes, 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 yes. And last time I came in, I came in with Robin Williams. He said, I did that to get your attention and try to make you funny. Oh, that's so <laughs> cool. Make you laugh. <laughs> Any other messages uh, from Robin? I need you to allow more. I know that you are a real logical person sometimes. And I know that you like to do things a certain way. You like pay bills a certain way. You like do taxes a certain way. In this case, not doing them a certain way. Oh, no. <laughs> I need you to allow things, trust things. I need you to embrace a new way right now, particularly in your finances, particularly with taxes, particularly with paying bills. I need you to embrace a new way. Stop A, B, C, D, E and get this okay. This is a new way for a new era, for a new you. Just trust. I like that. I like that. All right. I think we'll just close now by announcing, first of all, that uh, Pamela is going to be our wonderful channeler on today's radio show. I posted it on my Facebook, the Channeling Eric page, my profile page, the blog members page, blah, 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 blah. And I also posted it today on the blog post, actually. So, uh, but anyway, uh, you guys get in touch with Pamela Erland at Pamela Erland. Um, Dot com and also I will put in the description box all her other links and, and um, anything else you want to share Pamela no just thank you and as always thank you so much to Eric for always thank you Eric I love you he said I love you mom and he's saying it like operatically oh <laughs> because I used to they used to want me to do an opera voice and oh okay well he did thought it. it was funny I won't do it for you guys Voice was don't worry don't worry <laughs> so anyway uh, but i love you and we will talk tonight and i will send you a zoom um link for the coronavirus thing we're going to do tomorrow is that okay I'm so excited he has so much to share we're, we're so ready <laughs> all right talk to you later guys mm -hmm. and ciao beautiful people love you bye guys bye, Lisa. bye.